Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make these simple star shapes in Photoshop. So many of you might not know that you can actually make star shapes directly in Photoshop and edit them like you would in Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. I'm first going to make my background black just because I prefer it that way, but you can make it whatever color you want. Go to the, where you have the rectangle tool over here, just hold down, click and hold down the mouse and this drop down will pop up and we're gonna select the polygon tool. Now you have two options, either you can just click once and this window will pop up and you can try and blindly place some numbers that make sense. But the way I prefer is just draw your polygon and then the properties panel will pop up somewhere onto your screen and here you have all the things you can edit of your polygon so this is the number of sides so if you want a polygon with 20 sides or with uh, let's like three sides it's a triangle obviously four is like a square or rectangle so you can play around with the number of sides you can play around with the roundness of the angles so if you don't want pointy angles you can make them rounded which is really cool. Click and drag left or right, you get a star. And so you can play around with the number of points you wanna have, if you want the points to be rounded or pointy, and the amount, all these sides go inwards. So for example, let's make a one like this. I'll just hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag to make a duplicate of it. As you can see here, it created a copy of that layer and it's still fully editable, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna reduce the sides, add a little more weight to width to the center point, like this. And then I'm gonna duplicate this again and we're gonna go with just four sides. We're gonna make it pretty slim. Kinda like this. Now it's looking like this because we made all the sides equal, but um, you can just warp it into whatever you want. So if you want, let's say, a one of those little tiny stars, you get something like this, duplicate it. I feel like it's kind of crazy that you can do this directly into Photoshop and that these, um, shapes are still fully adjustable. Let me know in the comments if you knew this star trick or if you didn't. Anyways, that's basically it. What I like to do is just, as usual, add a little blur to this just to make it cute and funky. So I'll just duplicate all my layers and add some blur to them. And there we have it. Finally, I'll add a gradient map to this because you know I love gradient maps. I'm going to duplicate these once more and add a, another blur, but this time not a Gaussian blur. I'm gonna add a radial one, just cause. Yeah, that's basically it. So there's an infinite amount of star shapes you can make by playing around with those settings that I showed you. And that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell if you wanna get notified with when new videos come out. Also go check out my Instagram. I post daily designs on there, so that's pretty cool. And in the description down below, I'll link my gradient map packs and texture packs. There's also some freebies in there, so definitely go check those out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.